Hello there, I am Giant Guo with more Earthbound. In the last part, we, well, Jeff caught up with Ness and Paula finally using the Skyrunner, which crashed, but, uh, Jeff is here with us now. We get reunited with Paula and Ness, or Ness and Paula, however you want to say it. doesn't matter which name goes first. So I think what we have to do is, I think we have to visit the circus first. Well, although we did visit the circus before, we can visit them again, I guess. And uh, I think it triggers something in the game anyway. Yeah, someone just went in. Oh, that person just went in. Now, I already talked to the four people at the table, so I'm not going to uh, talk to them again, even if their dialogue changes. Changed, you know? Okay, uh, people use the call me evil, but those crazy zombies are much more scary. Uh, I left my wife and kids at home to escape th to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Well, that's not really cool. You left your wife and your kid there at home so you could escape? That's kind of selfish. Okay, frankly, I'm running scared. Um, I don't mean that I've actually that I actually run around. I just mean I am frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. Yeah, that's for sure. And just in case, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm glad you use. Okay, pretty young. Okay, I think they say the same thing. I'm just gonna talk to them again, just in case it triggers something. This yeah it talks about how getting all the zombies in one tent and burning it down. But how would you escape yourself? Yeah, Saturday morning. Something about Saturday morning cartoon joke, huh? Okay. I remember Saturday morning cartoons. How can you defeat the zombies? Uh, oh, I just don't know. Okay, let's just escape this tent because it's getting a little scary. It's getting a little freaky in here. Not really scary, but freaky. Okay, so if we go down here, I think we have to go to a certain point. I think it's coming up though. Okay, so we have to battle some zombie dogs, I think, soon. Is there no zombie dogs here? What the heck? I want to show off the zombie dogs. Because they're actually a tough enemy. But still, I want to show off the zombie dogs. Oh, there's one. Okay, cool. I ran into that one on purpose to show it off. It's really powerful. So, um, I'm going to use PSI. This will use PSI Rockin'. And ba alpha, I mean, at least that. PSI, um, I think PSI beta, or PSI freeze beta should work. And then Jeff will just shoot the zombie dog. Hopefully it won't get mad. What the heck? Okay, it just attacked. It just attacked Jeff because it was an easy, I don't know if it was an easy target or just because. Because he had a shock stun gun, I guess. I don't know. We won, yay. Oh, it changed Ness and his friends gained 452 experience each. Okay, Paul is now level 18. Offense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. Walk went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Jeff was now level 12. Offense went up by 2. Love, two I mean 2. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 2. Oh, baby. IQ went up by 3. Sweet. Max HP went up by 24. Wow, okay. That's a good level up for Jeff, I should, if I don't say so myself. Although, I'm going to heal Jeff... Uh, you're gonna make Ness heal Jeff with PSI Alpha, a PSI Life Alpha. He's HP maxed out, so he has 90 HP. Look at that. Ness has 201 HP, Paul has 86 HP, and Ness and Jeff has 90 HP. And then Ness has, well, I guess like 52, well, more than PP, than 47, more than that. But yeah, just to put that in perspective, you know, compare it. So here's a boss fight, so be prepared or be scared. Gorg, Gorg. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't, I can't really just scream commentary that well, honestly. Okay, so this is a tent master. What is it called? Boogie tent. So we're like in the tent, really, because that's the background and everything. So I'm gonna use PK flash or PK not PS PSI flash for Ness. Pavel will use um PSI fire because as that one person said in the circus tent, um you want if you set your the um t uh, tent on fire, you can like kill the zombies that way. So he's gonna do that. Yeah, um, and then, sh uh, yeah, Jeff will shoot the, um, boogie tent. Couldn't stop crying, eh? Flying honey, and Ness couldn't move, of course. And then you did 5 HP, okay. Um, wait, you couldn't move? Well, can I still use PSI Flash or PSI Rockin'? I don't know, maybe I can. PSI, um, Fire Alpha. And then shoot the um, boogie tent again, Jeff. Why not? 50 HP. No. Okay, cool. Ness is now free. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, PSI rocking again, Alpha to um, the boogie tent, and then I'm gonna well need to. Okay, hold on. I think I know what to do. PSI rocking Alpha on the tent. Um, goods. Uh, 
Life of new life cup of life noodles. Oh no, let's do the bread roll actually. Let's give that to Paula, and then Chef will shoot the boogie tent. Hopefully this works. Okay. 67 HP to Now Jeff needs some healing. Oh man. Okay, PSI PSI life up alpha on Jeff. Not Paula, not Paula. Shoot, I good good thing I take that back. Okay, good. Okay, recover um, life up on Jeff. And then PSI fire alpha on the tent. And then Jeff can shoot the boogie tent. Now I'm worried about Jeff because he's a low level, but hopefully it'll work out. Yeah, good. Jeff is now fully healed. Okay, 51 HP to Ness. Okay, that's okay. Now let's go to um, PSI Rockin' and then PSI Fire Alpha and then it was PSI Rockin' Alpha before. Shoot the boogie tent. Okay. Hopefully he's almost dead soon. 53 HP to Jeff. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this takes him out. I'm hoping it does. Yes, it was defeated. Okay, cool. That was a tough fight, but we made it through it. We won! Yay! Nesson's friends gains 1,834 experience each. Nesson level 24. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Uh, luck went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 1. This, that rocks. Maximum HP went up by 8. Awesome. Nesson has the power of healing beta. Jeff level is, Jeff's level is now 13. Offense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Uh, Jeff is now level 14. Offense went up by 1. Guts went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Nice. So Jeff leveled up twice in the end of the, in the, end of the last battle. So now it's just zombies and they're running away. Okay. Let's stick around the trash. Well, let's see here. This is a jar of fly honey. Now I didn't know if flies could like really make honey, but like it's, I think it's a joke or something. So that's good to have. Um, let's um use PSI life up on Jeff. Yeah, so it's pretty maxed out. That's good. Okay, cool. Now, dang it! What the heck? Is this handsome Tom or something? Jeez. Okay, let's just bash him, I guess. Bash, bash, and shoot. <laughs> okay. There we go. Stop moving. Good. <laughs> we won. This has been all these games. 174 experience. Cool. I think at a point, I think we can check this can. Let's see here. There was the plain old trash can, the garbage in the can. Okay. So I think there was just, um, at, at a certain point, we'll get a call from, um, Apple Kid on our receiver phone, hopefully. Soon, hopefully. Oh, let's grab that. Um, oh man, it's right here. Okay. Okay, we have to do this, I guess. Let's answer it. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I'm finished with a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure what, if it'll help you or not. It's called the zombie paper. It is it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like flypaper. All you need to do is place the paper in a floor or in the on the floor of a tent or something, and you should and you've seen at least one tent around you, right? And then the zombies get stuck on the, to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies. They are, they are terrorizing the area with the paper, with the, they are terrorizing the paper with this paper. I don't know, I messed, I messed around that wrong. Anyway, I just asked, the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to nest. You should get it pretty soon. I'll, I've never been, I've never actually seen a zombie, but they are really sc any, wait, if there are really any, um, the zombie bird would be very useful. I'm calling you if I could, if I come up with anything else. I'll call you if I come up with anything else. Quit, beep. Okay, so let's get this bunny, let's get this butterfly first. Come on, there we go. Nice. So that's good for Ness and Paula, it doesn't affect, um, Jeff at all, but that's okay. Oh, look. Oh, while delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help you, him out. He wanted to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was wandering around Thread. Okay, who was wandering around Thread? Um, th Thread, I guess. Um, no one else knew about this, right? Let's just pretend you're Ness, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? Uh, that should be a question mark, I think, <laughs> at that period. I made this decision that you're Ness, no matter what. Okay, and I'm not even, Ness isn't even facing the man. Okay, Paula got the zombie paper. 
uh, that's really nice wink wink I'm on, I'm on do I'm done I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids uh, thingamajig. Um, well, goodbye. Okay. That's cool. So, yeah, did I. Yeah, HP. Yeah, PP. Ness and Power's PP went up by 20, so that's good. Okay, um. I think what we have to do now is go back to the circus tent, so. We'll do just that. So, if I can find the circus tent. That'd be great. Where is the circus? Oh my gosh. Where is that circus tent, man? This town is really spooky. Where is that tent? I can't believe I lost it. I don't know where the tent is right now. Jeez. Oh, there it is. Oh, the one place that didn't go down enough. Then I would have found it immediately. Okay, whatever. So let's go in the tent. Labeled circus. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the goods, go to Paul's inventory, use the zombie paper. Everyone's, everyone's inventory is full, right? Oh, I can, oh, Jeff has one more spot, Paul has a lot more, uh, Janessa's, yeah, has a lot of, has, it's full basically, his inventory is full. Zombie paper use, place the zombie paper on the floor, nice, okay. So let's just exit the tent, because we laid the trap, yay! And to activate that trap, and um, well, more time has to pass basically for the zombies to come to it because they're attracted by the smell of the zombie paper. So what we have to do is we gotta have to go to the hotel, which I think is over here somewhere. Uh, well, I'm a little lost because I remember the hotel because the bikini girl was in front of it. So, yeah. Oh man. Oh, there it is. I passed. Oh my gosh, I didn't look closely enough. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So I have like five hundred dollars, right? Yeah, five hundred seventy dollars. Okay. So I'm gonna ask the kind manager of this hotel. I'm gonna talk to him. Welcome to th the Three um, Sunset Hotel. One night stay will cost you hundred eighty dollars. That's more than the one in Onet, honestly, because <laughs> Onet was fifty, but in Thread it's um one hundred eighty. So I kind of went up. Yeah. Have a nice stay. But all of all three of us get a stay for just one. Well, I guess for. All $180, which is pretty cool. And then look at the zombies. They're like, oh, what's that smell? I gotta go see what it is. And then, yeah, let's, let's follow those two. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. And then, yeah, um, I'm bored. I was just playing Earthbound earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that's an insert to Earthbound. Sorry. I was just playing um, Sonic 06 earlier. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're gonna wake up and it's... Out the window, it looks like it's daytime, but it's not... False advertising, high huh, game. The hotel at least is false advertising. Uh, so, sir, we're working hard even though you're young. The guests' newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called Zombie Herald. Uh, Herald, I don't know. Um, I'm scared, but let me not tell you. But let me tell you what it is in it. Boogie Tent Falls. Young human to blame. Okay. It's so. I was just trying to get rid of the zombies, that's all. That's all I was trying to do. So yeah, this has been the end of my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part we'll take on, well, let's see what happened to that tent then, for sh in person, and for sure, so we know. So this has been Janko again. I'd like to thank you again, goodbye, and I'm just you guys on the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.